Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Visiting the Marigolds. <coughs> Hi, Holly. Do you want to come and play? I'd like to play, Ben, but I can't. We're going to visit King and Queen Marigold. They're a bit snooty. I'm glad I'm not going. I wish I wasn't going. Maybe your mum will let you stay and play with me. Mummy, can I play with Ben today? What a good idea. Hooray! Ben can come too. Oh. That's all right, isn't it, Mr Elf? Oh, yes. Go off and enjoy yourself, Ben. See you later. Bye. Oh, you're coming too, are you? OK. Magic car, drive on. This is fun. A magic car. Yes, it uses fairy dust to make it go. Cool. I want you all on your best behaviour today. Yes, Queen Thistle. King and Queen Marigold's home will be full of very precious things. Horrible, but precious. So you mustn't touch anything. Visiting King and Queen Marigold sounds like hard work. It'll be exhausting. Here we are. King and Queen Marigold's castle. Oh, what a horrible building. Such bad taste. It's beautiful. Cool castle. Hello and welcome. Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend Ben. You've met him before. Of course. The charming little goblin. I not a goblin. I'm an elf. Oh, an elf? How exotic. Did you have a pleasant journey? It must be so nice to leave your little kingdom behind for a day. Tell us honestly, what do you think of our castle? Honestly, it looks like a complete... It's very nice. I wish we had a castle like this, Mummy. Oh, before we had it rebuilt in plastic, it was made of stone. Imagine, how primitive. Our castle is made of stone. Ah, but you live in an old-fashioned castle. Mm, it must be very uncomfortable. Not really. Oh, oh you've brought your ladybird. Ugh. Down, Gaston, down. Oh, that means he likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. Let's go inside. We'll give you the tour. Can Gaston come too? As long as he wipes his feet. Yes, if you could all wipe your feet. And please don't touch anything. And if you could, try not to breathe too heavily. We've got lots of precious things. As you can see, we've turned the idea of the hallway on its head. Ridiculous. Wow! It's all upside down. Amazing. Oh, where's Gaston gone? There's Gaston. He's walking on the ceiling. No, Daddy. Gaston's walking on the upside down floor. Clever Gaston. Hmm, yes, and I see he didn't wipe his feet. <laughs> Nanny, clean it up. I'm not your servant. That's right, Nanny. You're my servant. Thank you, Your Majesty. So, clean it up, Nanny. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Muddy footprints, away you go. 
Good. Now, where were we? There are 100 rooms in our castle. What do you do with all those rooms? We fill them, my boy, with things. This is our collection of pebbles. Pebbles? Oh, there is nothing quite as wonderful as a well-polished pebble. Oh, indeed. What do they do? They're beautiful. Please don't touch them. We don't want them to get sticky. Children always have sticky hands. No, we don't. Yes, you do. Do you think the pebbles look beautiful, King Thistle? What? Oh, yes. Very, uh, pebbly. This way. Ugh! Green fly. Mm. Good boy, Gaston. You won't be needing dinner now. Oh, I see you found our pet green fly. Lucinda, Gucci, and Timmy. Oh, but where is Timmy? Ah. Timmy! 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 Hmm, perhaps he's gone for a walk. Timmy! Gaston, spit Timmy out. <laughs> Ah, Timmy. <laughs> ah, oh, 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 playing hide-and-seek, were we? <laughs> now you may find the next room a little chilly. <laughs> it's freezing in here. Yes, this room must be kept well below freezing temperature at all times. All these lovely things are made of ice. They look very beautiful, Queen Marigold. Yes, they're, uh, cool. Please don't touch. Are they made with magic? Oh, no. That would be too easy. They're made from ice that froze over a thousand years ago. Ooh. And hand-carved by Norwegian mining pixies. These sculptures are one of a kind and simply irreplaceable. Ooh, a swan, that's nice. I like swans. Oh, dear. Nanny, what have you done? You've broken the swan's head off. It's all right. I'll magic another one. Abracadabra, make me a bird. Ice thingy. Nanny! That's not a swan. It looks like a hen. Or a duck, maybe. It looks lovely. I like ducks. This way, do keep up. This is our finest and most treasured collection of all antique toys. Amazing. You must play in here all the time. I could play here forever. This monkey is over a hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> and this clown is over 200 years old. <laughs> Apparently, they were made at the Elf Factory by someone called the Wise Old Elf. We know the Wise Old Elf. <gasps> you know the Wise Old Elf? What's he like? He's wise. He's old. He's... He's a grumpy old elf that's a bit clever. This is my favourite toy. A clockwork fairground ride. But sadly, it's broken. Don't worry, I can mend it. I don't think so. It needs to be seen by an expert. Elves are experts, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> and I can help you, Ben. Rawr! Don't touch! These toys must not be touched by children. We'll have to touch it to mend it. Um, okay. There, it's mended. Oh, 
It stopped. I want it to go again. Oh, yes, again, again, again. More, more, more. OK. King and Queen Marigold's castle isn't boring at all. Yes, actually, it's quite fun, isn't it? Choo-choo! <laughs> <laughs>